What's up everybody? We're Alex and Marco the Vagger Brothers. And this is Alternative Prague. Most people come to Prague to see the sights, swallow some pints, and have a good time. But most people don't realize that there is a whole another side of the city, one that was born during the darker days of communism when the government ruled with an iron fist and self-expression was limited. So we met up with Sandra and Thomas from Prague Alternative Tours, who promised to show us a different side of the city. Nice to meet right you. Hey, What's your name? We are going outside of the city center, going to places where the tourists are not going at all normally. We are really presenting the real Prague, what is happening here these days. We started off at the Lenin Wall, which was named not after Vladimir Lenin, but John Lenin, which made history in the 1980s when it became a canvas for dissidents to express their anger with the communist government. John Lennon, he has never been here, uh, but the young people during the communism, they were writing on this wall illegally pol political messages, for, uh, poems and wishes. People call this wall graffiti wall, but it's more political wall. It's like a freedom Something wall. very important for our history, but most of the tourists are coming here just because they see that they can paint whatever they like. They don't know the exact meaning of it. Art has evolved since communist times, but has continued to be a means of social and political expression best embodied by the next artist they showed us. This artist, his name is David Cherney, and he doesn't like to describe his statues very much. I think these statues have barcodes instead of the faces because he thinks that human beings are more like products these days. But even in that time, people were making political art, especially in that time maybe, because that was one of the few ways to uh, protest against the regime. But you had to be really careful. So it was hidden messages. Only uh, the people around the artist knew the real meaning of the statue. And then he was explaining a uh, different meaning, like a, a fairy tale to the government. We still are a little bit stuck in our history, so yeah. All right, so we just saw some statues from David Cherney, one of the Czech Republic's first street artists. And now we're going to go over to the Meat Factory, which is his kind of artistic heart, hot spot, uh, cultural meeting point. So let's go check it out. Our journey took us south to the other side of the tracks in an area we'd never heard of. All right, guys, so we're like 20 minutes by train outside of the city center of Prague. We're in this industrial area and we're headed to the meat factory. This is going to be a pretty cool experience. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so meat factory or places like that, they're very important for Czech artists because for us it's very, very hard to find a place where we can exhibit for free. I really like this place and uh, I'm really happy that there are places that support young Czech artists. Christ, dude. All right, you guys, so we just got to the longest graffiti wall in Europe. It's one kilometer long, and we're gonna go find a place to do our first graffiti mural, but the only problem is that you can only paint, this is a graffiti rule, only paint over someone who you're better than. So we're gonna have to find a shitty little corner. Or else do it on cardboard. <laughs> Luckily, we had the help of Sandra one of the only female artists in the Czech graffiti scene. You think we can do better than this? This is pretty nice, the quest. I think so. It's, um, yeah, I can see that this guy is a beginner, so we can paint over him. You're gonna help us? Yeah, I will. All right, I think we should be all right then. Let's do it. <laughs> Normally, when we travel to a city, we try to leave nothing behind, leave only footprints, but this time, we have left this massive mural, Bagger Brothers. <laughs> With Sandra, number one female Czech street artist, leaving our tag on the city, so this is pretty fun. All right, like this? Yeah. We just spent 20 minutes getting gangster in the Czech Republic. <laughs> Public enemy number one. Fagger Brothers coming at you. <laughs> and this is the final product. Boom. Who knows, someone's probably gonna ride over it in like two days, but for now, we've left our mark and we've taken a photo, so we have proof. Even if and if great. you're from Prague, make sure you guys head over here, try and find our tag, and if you find it, Tag us on Instagram. Like in many places, art in Prague has gone underground to empty buildings like this one where artists can squat rent free. But when we showed up, we learned that the building was about to be demolished, to be replaced by a high rise apartment. It's the same challenge for artists everywhere. 
staying one step ahead of rising rent. So we went to a place nearby called Paraleni Polis, or Parallel City, where a group of creatives, hackers, and baristas have made a community space powered by caffeine, 3D printers, and Bitcoin. Uh, open space, a hacker space, Bitcoin, first Bitcoin only coffee shop in the whole world, bookstore, 3D print library, and an art gallery. And all this is something we would not have found if we'd stayed right in the center of town, so. This is really, really cool. Everything's made from like 3D printed objects, recycled paper. To find out more, we sat down with one of the founders. I'm uh, Petr Zilka. I'm a member of Art Collective Stohoven, and I'm also a co-founder of this place. We educate people in how, uh, what is the potential of technologies to protect their freedom and how to use it creatively to benefit society. People understand that they can come and discuss totally freely um, uh, many topics that uh, are not so common in, in other places in Prague. I've never seen anything like this anywhere in the world. No, but I love finding places like this because it just reminds you of how there's so many different ways to do things and I love being creative types that are just doing cool ideas in cool cities like Prague. Awesome. Exactly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel for new travel videos every Tuesday. Share this one with your friends and hit that like button. Big thanks to our tour guides, Sandra and Thomas from Alternative Prague. Check them out, website in the info box. And if you like that video, stay tuned and watch Street Art in London. Okay, see you guys later. Later. All right, more videos. On the left, a video from Prague where we get past the tourist traps and check out the best food and nightlife in the city. And the video on the right, we explore shortage in London, one of the street art capitals of the world. Make sure to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday.